Inside every one of us, there is a superpower which allows us to do incredible magical things. I wish it's real, but sadly it only exists on movies or books. Or I also want to say, inside every one of us there is a spirit greater than us that we can wake up so that it can guide us throughout our lives leading us to only the good things in life so we don't need to go through sorrow at all. This also couldn't be true, right? But let's feed up our imaginary soul for a while. Let's imagine we're living in an ancient kingdom era where everyone have their own spirit animal for real. When we come to a certain age of maturity, we need to find our spirit animal in the forest. We need to find them and bond with them through some process before finally they will follow us. Each person will have different spirit animal with characteristics that match. Having this spirit animal is a way of life in this era. It is the process of discovery and maturity that everyone needs to follow through. My spirit animal, as you can see here in my drawing, is a dragon. What I'm trying to convey with that story is, we also have a similar thing like a spirit animal here in our world. It's called intuition. The good news is, we don't need to look for it outside in the forest, it's already within us. But we still need to do some work, we need to awaken it and build some connection with it, until it becomes our second nature to be aligned with our intuition. And why would we need to do that? Intuition is like this inner wisdom inner knowing, inner voice that is constantly guiding us. It's always there within us, whether we realize it or not. Once we are able to be aligned with our intuition, it will become kind of our own inner power. It will give you a strong sense of identity, sense of self, and sense of purpose. Intuition will become your inner compass. Living as a social being, it's too easy to be swayed around here and there. When you're constantly with other people, their energies, thoughts, opinions naturally bleed into your own. And without realizing it, a lot of people live their entire lives listening to what society tells them to do. Most of the times, we are listening to external voices. We become too agreeable to every values that the world offer, resulting never-ending confusion. Living a life that way will lead into feeling unfulfilled, unhappy, empty, and lost. Underneath all the layers of judgment, societal pressure, and everyday stresses, Below all of that is your inner voice that truly knows what you want and how you feel. It could be a small little voice that told you to do something that's maybe insignificant, but it always leads you to the things that excite you, things that inspire you, that create sparks within you. If you follow along those leads, it will show you the direction. Your intuition is a voice that knows what's best for you. Okay. 
intuition will connect you to your future self. Being aligned with your intuition will also bring forth the better version of yourself. The better version of yourself is you in the future. On my last video, I talked about actual self and fantasy self. Actual self is you in the present moment. Fantasy self is how you want other people feel you. While fantasy self is mostly affected by external things, how you try to be fit into some social values so you can be viewed as a certain persona. On the contrary, the better version of yourself focus on the internal things, what you want to bring forth in your life, what you want to build, create or improve, all directed from your own values from the inside. That's why, when you are connected with your intuition, it will lead you to fit more the better version of yourself, not the fantasy self. You can clearly tell the difference when you use external values to build your self-esteem versus when you use your internal values to build it. It will feel uplifting, energizing, positive and flourishing. You will just feel at peace with yourself and the path that you choose. While when you use external values as yours, you will feel pressured, demanded to be fit, sometimes even you are feeling that you are not enough. Your intuition is bridging the gap between your current self and your future self. It will equip you and make sure you are on the right track to reach your future self. It gives you direction and empowerment along the way. Even if, let's say that your current self and your future self are still far away from each other, seems like your future self is too hard to reach right now. But as long as it is still fueled by your intuition, it will telling you deep down inside your heart you will have this inner knowing that image of your future self is already yours. Intuition will bring forth your unlimited potential. The more we exercise to sharpen our intuition, our vision for our life will become more clear. We will have that strong conviction within ourselves that we are able to achieve whatever we put our mind to. We become bigger than our circumstances and bigger than whatever is happening to us. This will lead us towards personal growth and fulfillment. We will develop a whole lot of capabilities that we may not have realized were within us. It allows us to see beyond the limitations of logic and reasoning. Independent Being in tune with your intuition will teach you to taking care of yourself, physically, mentally, and emotionally. You will no longer relying your happiness to other people or to some circumstances. It will also make you daring to make decisions without being influenced by anyone else. Authenticity Your intuition always leads you to stay true to yourself. Self-discipline It will also help you to stay focused motivated and committed toward your goals. Resilience Not to forget this ability to bounce back from challenge and setbacks. Adaptability It guides you to adjust to new situations and change. Since our world created to be constantly changed, people change, everything change. Empathetic. It will also teach you to connect with others on a deeper level. Being compassionate to other people while still manage to not lose yourself in a relationship. 
your sense of self still comes first. One thing to always remember, our intuition will lead us and encourage us to start wherever you are with whatever you have and what you can do. We are all different human beings who have been given each a unique set of potentials. No one can be like me and I cannot be like anyone else. Intuition will lead you to the right people. While intuition makes us to be in tune with ourselves, to work on ourselves and our dreams, we will slowly recognize that we often encounter people who think the same way and have similar values with us. Or sometimes everything just feels right with some people. Your intuition helps you sense when someone's energy aligns with yours. And you can rest assured because your intuition is always has your best interest at heart. You will find yourself in relationships that have authentic connections, shared values, and nurturing each other. Intuition will ask you to be courageous but not reckless. What we want to pay attention related to listening to our intuition is we need to learn to go along with what feels right. Not just following our cravings, wants, or obsessions. Something that feels right will support our growth while something that just comes from cravings might have caused us to act reckless. Strengthening your intuition is about practice. If you can quiet your mind for a while and honor that little inner voice, start trusting, listening and following that intuitive voice, and you do it over and over again, that voice will become louder. It's not some grandiose thing to be show off, to just get whatever we want or to quick fix our lives. It's quite the opposite. Connected and being aligned with our intuition makes us feel calm and at ease in long term. It provides sustainability and long-lasting sense of self and inner peace. Since each one of us is so unique and different, the way we connect with our intuition will look different for everyone. Just like the story that I told in the beginning, while my spirit animal is dragon, in that story, there will be a lot of another spirit animals that match with each individual's. We need to find our own balance, what works, what feels best, everything that will accommodate us to connect with our intuition, to become the better version of ourselves. Just remember, Everything starts from the inside. Just listen to the whisper of your soul.